Sylacauga Police Chief Kelly Johnson joins us for a few minutes this morning. And Chief, good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Jimmy. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, isn't it? It's, it's nice out there right now. <laughs> oh, it wasn't nice uh, about three weeks ago when these storm blow through, and it just messed up everything at City Hall, didn't it? Yeah, it, it got us pretty good in the basement. So, uh, I mean, got a lot of our businesses down for, uh, down Broadway. Yeah. Uh, so we we feel their pain. I think the city's been real busy at trying to get some stuff fixed. So and, how how did it affect you guys uh, on the first floor there in the basement? First floor down in the basement, the police department got a, about three to four inches oh, wow. over every square inch of wow. the police department. So uh, right after that, when the waters went away, we, we got Surf Pro in from up in Chillsburg, and they came down and they started and uh, they worked for about uh, probably three weeks, two to two or three weeks, cutting out, hauling off, and and they've got our stuff in storage right now. It's it's got us all displaced throughout City Hall and even at other locations. So what hindrances is that call being displaced? Uh, well, one, it, you know, I had a nice comfortable office. I don't have it anymore, <laughs> but uh, it it has put us in separate locations, mm -hmm. of course, where we were all together. Um, patrol is up on the first floor of, the, of City Hall next to the city clerk's office. And they're in, a, they're in an office space almost like a, a closet. Uh, we're luckily, luckily, they had those two spaces. We had our sergeant, our, uh, the supervisors in one closet, our, our office, and we have patrolmen doing their work in another. Uh, and then it moved us up to the second floor, where we're in the on the same floor as the mayor and, and code and HR, and we're in. I've got five of us in one room now, where we all had it's a family had affair, isn't it, Chief? Yeah, I, I, I kind of joke and say it's like a camping trip. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! But so, uh, are we remodeling that or what? Yeah, we took a walk through with some architects, the same architects that built the first time mm -hmm. for us. Uh, Code and and I and the architects, we all walked through. They got a feel of what they've got to do. They're going to get us some plans up. We're going to make a couple of, of changes. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a, uh, a couple of changes in the from the old way. And uh, I figure it'll be, it may take, Three to six months to get oh, wow. us back in there. Wow. Yes, sir. Kind of puts crimp in your style, then. Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah. But now we're we're still trucking, just yeah. like you know nothing's yeah. ever happened. Hey, you got to. You got to uh, keep going. We got it. We got to keep going. Luckily, we didn't have any of our computer mm -hmm. computers damaged. We didn't have any vehicles flooded. So uh, we're we're keeping right on going. So as far we, as investigation and stuff, that kind of stuff, nothing was damaged there. Nothing too. was damaged. Okay. Uh, we did have to move our our uh, evidence room mm -hmm. for a little while so that they could tear out, clean up, and put back. But uh, it was all, you know, we had to follow certain protocol. We had to keep it secure. We had to keep officers on it while we were moving it. So uh, every, everything will get back to normal. Uh, I would like to give a number. We don't have the same phone numbers ah. as we were using. Okay. So uh, the number to contact any any department in the police department now is 256 Two six seven. That's non emergency call, right? Non emergency calls. Okay. Two six seven zero zero nine zero, and uh, and that'll get to our records clerk, and she'll get the calls dispersed to where they. There may be some folks like me a little bit slow this morning grabbing a pen. What was that number again? It's two five six two six seven zero zero nine zero. So look, I Police Chief Kelly Johnson joins us this morning. Uh, I know several weeks ago you were uh, on a program here. You talked about uh, recruiting and uh, needing more officers. Has that improved any? Uh, we we have we gave a test yesterday. I think we had two people take our test, and uh, we had one that we were waiting for an interview with the Civil Service Board. So we we may have three on the line right now. Uh, we're we're a total of eight down, so we need a few more. We want we want good we want homegrown yeah people here uh, that know our people that, and that know our them. people that have grown up here yeah. that know the area that know the streets already. You know it takes a lot less time to train somebody that already knows where they're at. Uh, 
We've got some things in line right now that we've been presenting to the city council on some benefits and uh, maybe some increases in pay and stuff. We'll be talking about that again this Let's next Let's face Tuesday. it, Chief. It, 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 if we don't entice potential men and women to join our team, there's other cities that's going to do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's there's a lot more places that, that are able to give a lot more mm -hmm. and have a lot more benefits. But we're working on it. We want to make it right for the people here, uh, the people that we want to keep the people that we've got, but we want to attract good quality people to come work for us. Uh, we're all saddened by the passing of Greg Gilliland, uh, conservation officer in North Talladega County uh, earlier this week on Speedway Boulevard. And, uh, you know, anytime uh, something like that happens, you know, the brotherhood and sisterhood of uh, law enforcement really step up and come together. Yeah, yeah, there'll be a, a big funeral procession yeah. that goes on, just like in all the others uh, that have happened over the country. And uh, it's just a sad time for, for, of course, his family, but the Department of, Correct yeah. uh, of Conservation as well. Yeah. Uh, I want to stay here just a minute and, and get your thoughts on uh, the killing of the officer in Bibb County just a couple of weeks ago, a week or so ago. And it, it shows me, Chief, that, man, the next call you go on can be your last one. Yes, sir. It can. You, you know, a police officer never knows exactly what's going on. We, we get as much information about a call that we can mm -hmm. from our dispatch. But, uh, you know, that's something that probably never should have happened with his criminal record. And uh, he was out on bond for yeah. other charges. He'd been in prison, been released from prison. You know, it's, the legislature's got to get together and they've got to do something about these uh, releases of, of prisoners on good time is what they call it in the prison system. It's it's just, you know, they need to be truth in sentencing and sentencing for violent offenders. Yeah, and here we go again. Everybody's got a weapon. Everybody's got a weapon. Um, you know, for every good guy to have one, it's pretty good, but <laughs> yeah. the, the bad guys get them regardless <laughs> of, the, you know, they're not going to the store and buying them, so it's really easy to get. You know, we have cars broken into, houses broken into, People don't store their weapons like they need to, and and they get taken. Yeah. Uh, some conversation about uh, the old Birmingham Highway and turning on to James Payton, the yield sign right there. What is your feeling on this, and is there anything we can do to kind of rectify that? Yeah, we're, we're working on it right now. We're waiting on a, a couple of templates to come out uh, the street department is, we're going to be putting down some thermoplastic mm -hmm. templates that show that it's a yield. We're actually writing yield in the road. Uh, that's a sign that needed to be there in the first place. It, it, it was never put in, it was never put there when they redid the intersection. So uh, we came back, we put the yield sign, we're going to brighten it up with some striping and, and hopefully people will start seeing that if you're turning to the right off of James, off of Old Birmingham Highway mm -hmm. onto James Payton. That you just yield to the traffic that's turning to the left off of Old Birmingham. It's pretty James simple, Payton. you know. It's uh, easy. It's, it's basic. Uh, and, and we just want to make sure that everybody knows about it. Uh, we had some trouble even with our police officers doing some accident reports there. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them didn't know that the sign had been put up. So, you know, we're getting there. We're changing some reports. and, and hopefully Is this a get, state project? or No, it's, it's, city. Okay. it's a city okay. project. Um, you know, we had, we've, we've talked with the city council, maybe one day we'll have a light there. That's a very busy intersection yeah. and, uh, it, sometimes it, it stay, people stay in the turning lane on old, old Birmingham for quite a while. Some people think that the red light at the top of the hill should actually be down there, so, but it's not. So maybe we can, yeah. we can get one there, uh, one of these days and, uh, Silicon Police Chief Kelly Johnson with us for uh, another minute or two this morning. I do appreciate Chief uh, taking time out of a busy day to join us. And, and a lot of people are asking, well, uh, how are you since the surgery? Um, I'm doing a lot better since my surgery. Uh, you know, I had two, I've had two in yeah. the last four months. So I'm uh, doing much better. I don't have any pain in my neck. So we're just healing it and 
taking time out, not doing a lot of the stuff that I used now, to do. Your wife told me that you were kind of a pain in the neck a little bit. So I, I don't yeah. know what she meant by that. She's but. right. <laughs> I mean, I can be. Uh, hey, uh, before we go this morning, uh, you know, several, I don't know, three years ago maybe, we, we resurfaced our streets. And, and we kind of tried to put some teeth into that uh, big truck staying on the right routes. Is that working pretty good? Uh, we're constantly training the, the drivers where they can and they can't go. There's a huge amount of trucks come through here. There are a lot of trucks that come through with 280 and 21 going up north. Uh, it's an everyday thing, mm. so we just keep working at it with the officers that we've got. We've got a we, we do have a problem still, but uh, there's other things that we're trying to work on too. We're trying to work on the loud mufflers and uh, we're getting calls about speeders. So, you know, the, the patrol guys get out and do what they can and uh, stop the trucks, get them back on the truck route. And I don't know, some of them issue tickets, some of them don't. But we try to we try to educate them as much as we can. And we can't forget about, Chief, the catalytic converter thefts. Catalytic converter thefts have slowed down a little right yeah, now. Good. So uh, I don't know what's caused that. If if we've got some main players in incarcerated, or uh, you know, it's usually one or two that they get away with it so often that they just continue doing it. And, and we have locked up a couple. Uh, we've made arrests on a couple of different cases, and uh, they've slowed down a little. They haven't stopped, but they've slowed down. That and the. Uh Warehouse storage units, you know, those seem to be easy picking sometimes. They do. Uh, some of the warehouse storage places have helped us greatly with uh, camera systems. Mm -hmm. and, and I think some of them have even put security guards at some of them right now. Wow. So, yeah, they're, they're trying to cut back on them uh, because, you know, it's a big business. It is. So yeah. uh, they're helping us when they can and however they can, and, and some of it's working out. Finally, part two, the police units that we have here, are they sufficient? Do we need more? Or when are they going to be upgraded and that kind of thing? You're talking about vehicles, cars? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, we ask for them every year. Um, we don't always get them from the council. The council was great to give me. They gave me 10. I think it's been about four years ago mm -hmm. now. So we'll, how many miles will be on those things now, though? Yeah, they're all out of warranty, so we'll start working on getting some more. Yeah. I don't know how many we'll ask for this time, how many we'll get. So uh, stay tuned to that. There you go. But I, I, I don't really look for an overhaul or a, a change in the look of them. But we we would like to have a fleet of the same look. Get rid of some of the black and whites to go to the solid black explorers. Now we don't have many black and whites now, do we? No, no, we have some spare vehicles that are black yeah. and whites. We have a few, we have three black and white explorers, but uh, they're take, they've are they taken a pretty good beating over the years. Yeah. So Lacaga Police Chief Kelly Johnson, Chief, always a pleasure. Thanks for coming by this morning. Thank you, Jimmy. More Daybreak right after this.